Hey guys, welcome back. So we're gonna film a little get ready with me. I have a lot of new stuff to try, but I need to make a statement about this, the all nighter matte setting spray. If you follow me on Snapchat, you saw what happened to me the other day. So I did my makeup. I was getting ready to go to Nick's basketball game. And I was like, oh, let me try this out. Because I was feeling a little, like, radiant. Girl, this, I wish I would have taken a picture, but I didn't. This, I shook it up really well, sprayed it a few times, sprayed it on my face. It came out in wet chunks of, like, powdery water it was so bad it got in my hair and it looked like I had dandruff I couldn't get it out I was like combing my hair like crazy so we're gonna give this one more try I don't know why I'm trying to torture myself this is the ultra matte all-nighter I love the original but this could destroy my face but that's okay because I'm not going anywhere so beware we may be in for a little bit of a ride. So I have a few new concealers to kind of play with. I've been using this one, the new e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Oh my god, you guys, it's so good. I freaking love it. So good. I don't think I'm going to use that one today, though, because I already know that I love that one. But I did get this new Radiant Cream Concealer. Hello, NARS. <laughs> from Neutrogena. I'm very anxious to try this one. I also got the new Born to Glow one from NYX, but I really kind of want to try this Neutrogena one. I mean, it's very um, reminiscent of the NARS one, like the packaging, the Radiant Cream Concealer. I mean, Neutrogena. Girl, I see what you're doing. So I do have a new primer to use. I'm not going to use a new foundation only because I'm using a new primer, so I kind of want to see how it perform <clears throat> to use this all-nighter from urban decay face primer longwear foundation grip preps smooths and perfects so i did use this once and i mean it was pretty good it wasn't like it doesn't do anything for your pores which i really really wish it was like a pore filler but it's not but with my Freshwear from L'Oreal, which is of course what i'm going to use we should be okay and i have a lot of new stuff to show you guys so I'm just going to take one little pump. That should be enough. Oh, I got to put my bangs back. This feels pretty good. It feels like it's more water-based than like silicone-based. Um, I just wish it filled my pores, but other than that, the first time I used it, I had a pretty good experience. All right, let me, let me put these bad boys to the side. Ooh, five head, five head alert, five head alert. So I, I'm using my Freshwear number 460. This is a new bottle, by the way. I used my other bottle, like, totally up. So proud of myself. I'm not doing like heavy makeup. We're gonna keep it, we're gonna keep it light. Oh, I also have a really pretty cream blush to show you guys that I've been using. <gasps> Love it. I have a few cream blushes. Kind of getting into cream blush. It just looks so like natural. And even though I'm oily, I can kind of get away with it. I'm just taking a little bit more in some of my problem areas. What I've been doing is doing just like one light layer of foundation and then I'll take my spot concealer, which I have a new one to show you guys, it's so good. And then I kind of spot conceal everything so you still get the coverage that you need without having to like pile on the foundation. Let me get a wipe out. Do you guys like my sweatshirt? So cute, it's from Target. I love it. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of correcting with this shade from the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette number 30. Just where my darkness is the worst. I do find when I correct, I do have to use a little bit more concealer because sometimes the like peachy orange color shows through, but that's okay. Oh, my lips have been freaking dry as hell. I'm just using this guy. Chapstick, coconut, oh, so good. All right, let's try this out. Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer in Bisque. So it just has like a regular little doe foot. Ooh, good color. Good color. I'm gonna start with that much. See if this goes any good. I love a radiant concealer, but I still wanted to have coverage. Mm, that doesn't have much coverage. Hmm. It's very pretty, but very sheer coverage. Yeah. I'll mix in a little bit of the e.l.f. Ooh, that's so radiant and pretty, but it doesn't give any coverage. Okay. I would use this on like natural makeup days though if I was just doing like a little quick something. I'm going to use medium peach and the e.l.f. hydrating. Has to be the hydrating one. Camo concealer. Just for some more coverage. Woo! This one's real good. I love that it's like a dewy concealer, but it does give you like a lot of coverage. You need like a tiny bit. I have tried the original camo concealer and it was just way too matte for me, but add that little bit of hydration in and oh my gosh, such a winner light beige here. I'll give you a little swatch. This is light beige right there. It was a little bit too yellow for me so I got medium peach and that's a really good shade. So there's medium peach. The shade selection is a little tricky. I feel like the undertones are a little bit weird but yeah if you're like normally kind of the same shade as me Medium peach. It might look a little weird under like target lighting, but in real life, it's good. I am going to take a little bit of that on my nose because my nose always gets red. And then we'll spot conceal. Ugh, you guys got to see this spot concealer. It's so good. I haven't even used my NARS one in like two weeks. That's kind of crazy. And I even used the e.l.f. one for spot concealing as well. It's really good. So this is my newest obsession, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen in Macadamia. Oh my goodness. So that's what it looks like. I just use like a little brush and kind of brush it on. It's so good. Okay, I'm going to use a little Makeup Forever 202. It's a little baby. This might even be like a lip brush. I don't know. So I just like to take a little brush, pop it on wherever I need it, and then blend it out with my finger. Just kind of tap it out. The warmth from your skin kind of helps it to melt into your skin. It's such a good concealer. It doesn't look dry after like an hour. You know, sometimes when you have a zit, you put a concealer on it and it makes it even more like noticeable. And it's like, wait, why did I do that? I should have just let it be. And this lasts all day. Doesn't look dry. It's just, oh my gosh, you guys, so amazing. Oh, here, let me show this to you guys. So this is kind of like the shade range. I feel like this is very helpful if you're 
if you want to screenshot it if you're planning on purchasing because you see all the shades and you're like oh my gosh how am I ever gonna pick the right shade this is very very helpful because it tells you kind of what undertone goes with what shade this was like a lifesaver for me because I had all these like medium shades and I'm like mm, I don't want to swatch them all because I'm gonna be doing a giveaway with some of them so follow me on snapchat if you want to win some that will be coming soon all right let me prime my lids same old Smashbox one. I might go back to the NARS one. I'm not sure. But I'm feeling like I need something new in my life. Okay, for setting, I've been using the Jouer Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in Light. I wish I had the fair one, but I think I gave it to Tara. This powder is so good. This almost reminds me of the crystal powder, but it's more dewy. If a powder could be dewy, this is a dewy powder because it does have almost like a bit of radiance to it. So I really like it under my eyes. It doesn't give any shimmer. There's no glitter. There's no sheen or anything. It just has, I don't know. It's like not a flat powder. So it looks really, really nice on your under eyes. I use this on my whole face but I do have to be careful because it's not quite enough on my entire face. I need something a little bit more matte everywhere else, but on my under eyes and like around my nose, this is perfect. And then on the rest of my face, I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder. Mine's getting a little weird. Look, it has like little bumps on it. I think I need to get a new one. This one's in Creamy Natural, but this is a good powder. I'm gonna use a little bit of Fix Plus, even though it looks like All Star from ColourPop, this is Fix Plus. Look at this freaking nozzle, it's so good. Ah! It's like an angel kiss. Even though I'm oily, I like to put a little Fix Plus one after powder. It just helps everything to like soak in. Okay, should I do brows? I think I would do my eyes. What? <laughs> I think I would do my eyes first. I would do my eyes first. Yeah. So I do have this, you guys, the new Natasha Denona Love Collection. It is so gorgeous. I do want to dedicate a video just to this collection, though. So I think I'm going to film that tomorrow. Hopefully that'll be up this weekend. So just know this is coming soon. These lips right here are gloss balms what they're so pretty I, I have to show you just real quick this one is in the shade mauve you guys uh, dead in the water sharks come and eat me so I think today we'll play with the gingerbread spice palette I've never used this one I've used the like extra spicy one I think that's what it's called but this one I have not used it's so pretty Oh girl, these brows are looking rough, but we're gonna do them after, I think. Do you see how that lid primer combined with the powder, do you see that like darkness? It always almost like oxidizes. And it's not just the powder because I've been noticing that with my lid primer. That's why I need to switch. Maybe I should switch to the white one because I really don't like that. That looks so stupid. I have to run to Ulta. I have something to return. I got this Laura Mercier blurring primer. I didn't use it in a video, but I've just tried it like in my everyday life and it made my foundation pill up so bad. So I'm returning that. It gets really good reviews online though. So I thought I was going to love it. And I've tried it with a few different foundations and it did the same thing. It would like get really patchy and I could see like exactly where I put the primer. No. So that has to go back. So I may, where was I going with that? Oh, I may get a new lid primer. If you guys have one that you love and you have really oily eyelids, let me know. Because I feel like there's only like a handful, not even a handful that I can use. But that like weird oxidizing, not cool. Not pull Smashbox. I'm just gonna grab a MAC 217 and 
Ooh, there's so many pretty shades I could put in my crease. I kind of want to go in with this one. It has a little bit of like life to it. It's not just a matte, but it's so pretty. It's called Oh Snap. Oh Snapchat. Yeah, I'm going to run that through my crease. That's really pretty. All right, just run this guy right in here. So I'm going on a cruise this weekend. Well, we are going on Saturday um, with my mom. And my mom is so excited. I mean, I'm excited too. It's this like disco cruise though. I have a feeling I'm gonna be the youngest one on the ship. Um, but my mom has been looking forward to this for like a year. She has her disco outfits ready to go. She got these little white like disco booties. I'm like, you are a teenager. She's like having her second wind. She's like, you know what? I'm in my 60s. I can do whatever the heck I want. I can wear whatever the heck I want. I'm a disco queen and I'm gonna live my best life. And I'm like, you know what? You do your thing, girl. You do the dang thing. So um, I'm kind of going along just as like a plus one. So my mom is not going by herself because none of her friends are like really into disco that they would like want to take a disco cruise. Um, neither am I, but listen, it's a cruise. It's going to be fun. I do love me some disco music. I don't know that I would actually like go on a disco cruise. I'm, I'm not that into disco, but how could you not have fun? Like disco music 24 hours a day. Sounds like a good time. And it's going to be a trip to see all these people like dressed up with like wigs on and their disco outfits. Oh my gosh. I'm going to, I'm going to be snapping. I did get an internet package. So hopefully I'll have good reception. Last time we went on a cruise, I also got an internet package but I still had really, really terrible reception. And it would take me like 10 minutes to upload one snap. So hopefully it's better at this time. We'll see. I'm just gonna take a brush with no, oh, not this one. Um, a brush with no product on it. Ooh, this one is so good. The Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH30. Look at that big thing. Hopefully there's no eyeshadow on this. No. Remember that time I had black eyeshadow on a brush and I ran it through my crease? Good times, good times. Oh, I really like that color. I'm also gonna run that on my lower lash line. I feel like we're so close. You can count every pore on my face. Especially since I didn't use any pore filler. Dear God. This color is pretty, this like purple, but it's like a, like a toned down purple. It's called Ooh Burn. What a name. I'm gonna take that with a little Morphe M456 brush and I'm just gonna put that. Oh, it looks darker on the brush. Look. What? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna put that just over here just to deepen things up a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Just like a light little layer of that. Ooh, love that. I'll put a little bit up into my crease then. Do you see these eyelashes over here? How dead they are? They point straight downward. Like these, curled. These hate me. All right, I'm gonna go back into that MAC 217 that I used, kind of get the product off of it. I had a color switch. I don't know where it's at though. And I'm gonna go back in. Ooh, there's some glitter in that color. Look, after I like dipped into it, now I can see it. Do you see all that like silver glitter? Hmm. I don't really see it on the eye though. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in my crease. I don't want this eye look to be like anything strong. Just want like a little daytime, a little daytime number. 
We need a clean brush just to kind of blend this out a little. I swear, nobody texts me all day. Ugh, and then I turn my camera on and everybody wants to tell me their problems. People, people. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take a little bit of that purple on the lower lash line too. It's really pretty, just like over here. It blends out really nicely. Very pretty. Okay, so pretty much the look I do every day of my life. <laughs> Great, love that. But let's do something different on the lid. Should we do something a little bit darker? Let's take, I'm going to take this shade, Spiced Rum. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to pop some of this. Oh, uh, what? What the heck is that? I dug into that shadow and that's what I got. That's terrible. What? Okay, we're not using that. That's, what? Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that. I'll take this one, Spice of Life, and I'll put some of that. Oh, much better. Over here. Just to add a little, a little something, something. What should we put on my lid? Hmm. I mean, that's all right. Okay, I guess I'll take this guy on my lid, Spiced Eggnog. Let's see what she does without a, is that a cream? Oh my gosh, it kind of felt like a cream shadow. It feels so like nice and creamy. I didn't use any base. Ooh. Wow, that's a big difference from that first shade that I swatched. Oh my gosh, that color is beautiful. What? Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, love that. And I didn't even need a base. Huh, that color is beautiful. What the heck, that's so weird. That one shade was... Terrible. Ooh, that is gorgeous. Do you see like, do you see that? That's not eyeshadow. It's like, I always get that. Crap, hold on. I'm gonna take this Neutrogena concealer and pop a little in. I always have that like darkness over there. I'm gonna have to start correcting over there. I always notice that and it's not eyeshadow but it looks like it. I just have a lot of darkness. Oh, I love being Greek. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Put a little bit too much over here, but that's okay. We'll take our little powder brush. Where's my powder brush? And we'll just kinda do that, do that. And take this brush, just do that, do that. Perfect. I love that lid shade. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of that on my lower lash line too. Great in here. It is, I'm telling you, the formula feels so creamy. It feels like a cream shadow. Look, that's what I swatched on the back of my hand. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is really pretty. I mean, it's very like typical of me, but we do what works here. Ooh, so nice. It got a little like bunchy on my lower lash line, like a little, a little bit patchy. But that's all right. I'm gonna take this dark brown reindeer paws, put that on my lash line. Maybe even like smoke it out a little bit. Oh, 
Ooh, that's really pigmented. Yeah, that's pretty. These stupid eyelashes. I do have a new mascara that I've been loving. I really wish it was waterproof. The Wander Mile High Club. It's really good. I'm going to try to use it today without putting a waterproof underneath. I don't know how great it's going to work, but this on the lower lashes is amazing. And I like to use it as like a second coat after I put on waterproof. But it gives you so much length, so much volume. It's beautiful. And the brush or the little wand is so nice for your lower lashes. I saw someone talking about this. I can't remember who it was. And their lashes looked so good. And I had it, like Wander had sent it over and I hadn't tried it yet. So I gave it a try and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. I've been sleeping on it. Look at those lashes. That's good. That's real good. I just hope this side doesn't fall. Wander, could you please put this mascara out in waterproof? Like, same exact formula. Don't change a thing. Just make the B waterproof. Oh, every day. Every day I do that. Ugh. Oh. Every day I'm hustling. Wow. Okay, I don't have any new brow products, so I'm probably going to do my brows off camera. Let me throw something on my inner corner, though. Should we play with this guy? Look at that. It's a little white, but I can always take a little bit of highlighter over it if it's too white. It's called Frost Bite Me. <laughs> it's kind of a cute name. It doesn't really want to come off on my brush, though. All right, let's see. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, that's nothing. Like, I'm not dying. That's pretty. I just really like putting highlighter on my inner corner. That's pretty. Yeah, I can live with that. Okay, let me do my um, eyebrows. And then I'll be back. And this mascara will be going off my face. Okay, my brows are kind of done. I usually go back in a second time and kind of futz around with them. So I have a new bronzer. I don't know if it's going to be too light for me. It, it looks pretty light. It's Revlon Skin Lights Sunlight Glow Prismatic Bronzer. It looks really pretty though. Ooh. But it does look pretty light. Ooh, it feels like super silky smooth. Ooh. All right, let's try her out. I'm gonna use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02. Hmm. Not getting much. Okay. Oh, it shows up. I don't want too much though. I haven't been using a lot of bronzer. this like white neck right here but I don't want to get it on my sweatshirt mm -hmm. I just put a little bit on because I don't want it to be too like strong that's pretty hmm. okay I don't mind that at all okay blush Ooh, look at this first off look at the packaging the honest cream blush in truly exciting so beautiful. So I saw Tati talking about these and I don't know if this is a different one, but the ones that she was talking about were in like square white packaging. 
this is not square white packaging, but the formula is amazing. So I just like to take it on my finger just a little bit and kind of tap it on. So what I like to do is put the product on my middle finger, apply a little bit, then tap it out with a different finger. And then when I need more product, I kind of go back in with my middle finger, you know, dot a little bit more on, tap a little bit more in, and then blend it out again with a different finger. It sounds weird to explain, but it works beautifully. I'm obsessed with freaking cream blush. Who knew? Ooh, love that. These act really nicely over powder too. Like you guys saw me set my entire face. They don't get weird if you put them on top of powder. They just like blend out so well. Okay, for a highlighter, oh, I love this. The Rach Loves Pixie Palette. Mine's kind of broken, but oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. So I love both of these shades for highlighting. This on the eyes is amazing. This on the inner corner, highlight, eyeshadow, it does everything. Okay, let me give you some swatches. So these are the two, like these two guys up here. So beautiful. Like the formula is so smooth. And then here's the two largest shades at the bottom. They're just gorgeous. They're so gorgeous. I guess I should give you the purple too, hold on. I didn't think I was gonna like the purple, but I actually do like it as an eyeshadow. It's really pretty. It almost has a bit of like an ultraviolet-ness to it. These are amazing. I recommend, oh look, mine is breaking more. Look, oh, I might have to buy a new one because I love this and I kind of want to travel with it, but this one ain't traveling nowhere. I'm gonna take the shade Clutch with a Wayne Goss 02. Ooh, look how beautiful. I'm gonna put a little of lace on my brow bone. Oh, I gotta get that mascara off. Right there. <laughs> if you ever get mascara on you, just let it dry and then kind of flake it off with a little clean spoolie. Okay. Good. I'm feeling a little oily. I'm gonna take a little bit of my Fenty, what is this called? Pro Filter Powder, just a tiny bit. I'm feeling a little oily, like in here. And up here. Okay, much better. Okay, for lips, I feel like I have so much to show you guys. I have some new ones from It Cosmetics. They had actually sent all of them over, but I only kept a few. The rest I'm gonna give away to you guys. So let's play with these. These are called, hmm, these are called the Pillow Lips. So there's uh, like a set of cream ones. There's a set of matte ones. I have a few of each. Okay, first we'll do the creams. This one is Vision. Uh, look how pretty. So that's the, is that the cream? Yeah, cream, vision, humble. Oh, I wore this one, it's so beautiful. Look at that color, so damn good. And then, serene. Ooh, I didn't swatch this one yet. Mm, that's not really my color, it's pretty though. I sh probably shouldn't have kept this one because I'm not gonna wear that. Maybe Erin will wear it. Okay, and then three matte ones. This one is also Vision. The creams are freaking, I mean, the mattes are amazing. I love the matte formula. Humble, matte. I kept like the same ones in matte and cream. That guy right there. And then the last one is Wistful. Ooh, this one's pretty. That guy right there. 
So there's a few that I kept. Of course, all the nude shades. I'm not gonna wear any of these today though because I really wanna wear something else, but these are really, really nice. I have worn them and they're great. I also wanted to show this to you guys. I have been loving this. It, the shade is Skinny Dip. It's the Wander Beauty Lip Retreat Oil. <gasps> this is so nice just to throw on like if your lips are feeling dry. It's this like balmy oil and it's such a good color. Oh, I love this. I've been grabbing for this every day and just kind of throwing it on and it's so like hydrating and good. Oh, and the color, oh, the color. And I have to mention these, you guys, the new, look at my hand, what's happening? The new ColourPop Lux Velvet Lips. So good. I have not worn this one, so I'm gonna try this one on. It's called Keep It Koi. I love these. I'm not even gonna lie my lips. The formula of these is a whipped formula but it doesn't totally dry down. So if you're looking for something like totally transfer resistant, super, super matte, these are not gonna be for you, but they're so comfortable. They feel like absolutely nothing on your lips. I love them so much. This color is gorgeous. I thought it was gonna be like way darker. Keep it coy. I love this color. Now I don't wanna take it off. It looks so good. but we're taking it off because I really want to show these to you guys. Oh my God, so good. My husband is running the vacuum now. Are you freaking kidding me? Ugh, I just had to go up and yell at my husband. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like steaming the carpet. No, you're not. Okay, now that I'm totally out of breath. Ooh, give me a minute. Okay, so Wet n Wild like reformulated or maybe just repackaged, I don't know, but they look very similar to Pat McGrath. So I picked up two matte ones and one cream. I don't think any of them are new shades, I could be wrong. So Skinny Dipping, ooh, looks very similar to what I just had on, so pretty. And then Bear It All, which is one that I've loved for a long time. Look how pretty these are. I think they were like $2. And then this is the cream one, Close Off. Look at that. Do you see how glossy that is? Are you kidding me? That is going on my lips right this second. I have not worn this yet. I've been waiting for you guys. I'm such a good friend. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh my God, I love this. Oh my God, I freaking love this. Look at that color, are you kidding me? This was $2. Shut your mouth, Natasha. What? Shut your mouth, Pat McGrath, girl. We got the $2 version of you and we are loving it. Dun 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 dun. I'm loving it. All right, are you ready to destroy my entire face? Okay, you see me shaking, girl. You see me shaking, I see you rolling. Okay, all nighter, ultra matte. I don't know why I'm doing this. All right, I'm gonna spray it a little. Looks totally harmless, right? All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. You have, look, you have to like dab in the wet powder that gets on your freaking face. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, no, I do not. I do not approve. It's almost like they took the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just dumped like a bunch of powder in it, like shook it up. 
there's too much like powder or something in here. It gets all over your face. It's all white. And if it gets in your hair, huh, forget it. You're screwed. Look in there. Do you see? It looks like powder just caked. Urban Decay, I know what you did, girl. I know what you did, girl. Dagnabbit, I wanted to... <laughs> Dagnabbit, who the hell are you? I wanted to show these blush sticks to you from ColourPop and I forgot, but I'm going to swatch them now. This one is called Cool It. Ugh. I'm not a pink blush kind of girl, but that is gorgeous. This one is called More Is More. This one has a little bit of a, like some, some little gold to it. It's really pretty though. Here, I'll even give you a little blend. The ColourPop blush sticks are amazing. And my favorite one is Aloha. Ugh. Look at that color. It is absolute perfection on the face. These are really nice. I've been playing around with them. I don't know what's gotten into me, you guys. A freaking blush stick? Cream blush? Who am I? What have you done with Nicole? I don't know. I always thought like I have oily skin so I can't wear a cream blush. It's not true because I don't get oily on my cheeks really. I get oily like in my T-zone and even if I do I can just put a little bit of powder on. It looks so natural and so beautiful. Okay, so anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your new product loves are. Do I need to try them? Have I tried them? Tell me. Tell me everything down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Somebody's sleeping in my bed. Missing with my hand. Oh, shit. Read it. Holy. My life ain't complete if I got no books. Can't no mind doing like we do. A lot of what products to talk about. So. Okay, we have a lot of what products to talk about. You know when your hands are so dry and then you put some lotion on and cuticle oil? the best feeling in the world. Oh, nice hair. Guys, welcome back. Ooh. Ooh. That doesn't look good. What the heck is that? It's that freaking sitting spray. Oh, and I'm gonna go to Walmart and buy more of these cream. Settle down. More of these cream. Why does it take me so dang long to film and get ready with me? Just get ready with me. Why does it take so long? Step. Why does it take so long? Step. Why does it take so long? Jump rope. Oh yeah. Double dutch, bitch. I, I cannot. Oh my god, my hair's my hair's a mind of its own those days. It's a good light. I want a light. It's a good day. Oh, I love this sweatshirt. So cute. It's like cropped. Yes. <sighs> Go team. Okay, you're way too old to be a cheerleader, you dumbass. Why am I like so oily today? Hmm. Shake, 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 send your mouth. Shake your body, right? Shake, 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 send your mouth. Shake it all the time.